thousand people showed up for the event. There were no reports of any violence, thanks in part to a small army of volunteer monitors who helped control the crowd. In the first of two reports on today's celebration, Eyewitness News reporter Don Knapp tells what happened during the rally outside City Hall. Primarily, the rally at City Hall was a celebration of gayness and solidarity. But this is the very place where, only a month ago, gays and other outraged citizens gathered to protest the decision on Dan White. Some of them protested violently in a damaging attack on City Hall. That demonstration and its reasons were not forgotten today. Dan White shot Harvey Milk in the head. Dan White shot George Moscone in the head. Dan White is a murderer, but he got away with it. We are not coming from the love of power. We are coming from the power of love, and that will sustain us, for we must be free. We will be free. We shall be free, because we are everywhere. A call for support for police chief Charles Gain and a threat to the traffic moving and maybe for the first time in a while relations between cop and Castro Valian seemed mellow and that seemed like a fitting way of ending Gay Freedom Week. On the weekend night beat on Castro Street, Carl Sonkin, News Center 4. Also want to come out and party and say we are what we are. Oh, because I like to come every year. It's a great big party. It's a lot of fun. And so it is a celebration, a party, but one with heavy messages. Reaffirmation of one's right to be gay and determination not to be persecuted because of it. And now to Linda Shack along the parade route. people paraded through downtown San Francisco today, celebrating or simply curious about gays and their expressions of pride. On the outskirts of the parade, there was a man who came for another reason. Mick Kowalski came to answer some questions he has. Why are there so many gays? Why had his wife left him? Not for another man, but for a woman. And frankly, he asks, what is this country coming to? I don't know, it's just so strange. Just think of what other countries think of this, you know? They probably got TVs back home. They're probably watching this. Well, let's just say it this way. If I was a Soviet, whoever they are, back over there, and I was watching TV and I seen this, I wouldn't have to come in here and harass this country. It's falling apart itself. Kowalski is a boxer, and what nagged at his soul the hardest today was first the loss of his wife to a woman, and second, the fact that his two-year-old son went along to a world Kowalski doesn't understand. I'd rather have him have an attitude, be senile, stupid, and make trouble like the real... I don't know. I, I... Then what? Then be a sissy, you know? That doesn't sit well with Mick Kowalski, and the atmosphere in San Francisco today was uncomfortable for him, too. So weird. I just feel like I'm the only one left, you know? <laughs> and when Kowalski walked away from this parade, he was still wondering and feeling quite lonely. In San Francisco, Linda Schack, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. One thing missing from the Gay Freedom Day parade this year was a flamboyant presence of former supervisor Harvey Milk. Today, part of his legacy to San Francisco's gay community, the Harvey Milk Gay Day. As the 100-unit parade made its way to City Hall, there was no trouble. The tensions of the reaction riot after the Dan White decision seemed checked, if not forgotten. Police along the way telling news seemed that the crowd was very self-controlled, but the message they were there to express was clear, too. I'm in total support of gay rights. I'm tired of being thought of as a minority and not having the rights that other people get. Do you feel like that happens a lot? I sure do. In what way? In job discrimination, in just being able to walk down the street with my girlfriend and hold hands. And of course, at Parade's End was the big rally at Civic Center with gay rights speeches. Very few politicians on hand this time, however. Mostly it was a day of and for gay people in San Francisco. 
With the heavy stuff behind them this afternoon, gays are celebrating tonight. Popular disco Trocadero transfer provided a shuttle bus from Civic Center and apparently got a lot of takers. together 14 months. We're celebrating life, love, happiness. Is it a good night? It's a good day, too. In San Francisco, Don Knapp, Channel 5 Eyewitness News.